Hey, hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook. Um, I needed to go through and capture this really quick. This is in Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and I need to open a file because there's a new way to save this stuff. Into our embroidery. Let's go grab a grab an FK. That's right. Let's go grab a ladybug. Let's do all the sizes. Grab this one. Okay. So lots of people ask, how do we do this now? Because remember, the 650, if you do not have a Brother Embroidery Program, Brother Baby Lock Embroidery Program, or a Brother Baby Lock machine that can edit the color of these stitches on the machine, you will need to change your PES to an FCM. Even though I have a 650, this is what I have to do now so that my 650 can capture the cut file, okay? So my PES no longer works. Your PHC will no longer work in the 550, 650, 700, and 900 machines, okay? Your PES will still work if you have not done past the or to the 2.2 update, okay? The 2.2 update knock that out. So, um what was it? The one, I think the 1.6. It was the August 2016 update. Okay. That knocked that feature out for us. It was not announced. It just happened. Okay. So let's come in here and we're going to search. Holy cow. We're going to search for those little stitches. Well, you can come in here. Let's check this one. Nope. I don't want that. That doesn't give me what I need. That's just these little gold billings there. Okay. What's that one? Nope. Oh, there we go. That's this little pink thing. So I'm going to click on this. This brings up this screen. Let's click on applique. We're going to do it a little bit different here. I'm going to click on applique position. Okay. Because that brings up all of this. Because my 770 for some reason doesn't like to stitch what I want it to, I have to inflate mine up to 2.5. You can put yours to 1, 1 1.5, whatever yours captures the stitches at. At 2.5, mine does a really good job and nothing is left hanging out. Okay, I'm going to click Save All. Watch what comes oh, We can save this as a SCUT4 file. SCUT4 files are sure cuts a lot for native files. Okay, you also have all of these files in here, so you can still save it as a SVG, a PLT, FCM, and Studio. So the FCM and the scut 4s we can use with our scan and cuts, okay? The FCM goes direct to the scan and cut. The scut 4s are for people like me, okay? I'm going to save it as a scut file, and I actually have a SCUT folder made up because that's actually how I save or store all of my files. I save everything as a SCUT file. Okay, so we're going to do, let's do ALB, Applique Ladybug, and I'm going to click Save. Okay, I always bring my stuff in here to check it out first. Okay, so I'm going to click. I'm going to click open ALB right there. Oh, looky there. So let's bring it over and up so we can take a good look at the lines. That is absolutely perfect. So right there is my cut file for my applique for my ladybug. Okay, guys. So that's just an interesting little add-on that's in there. We can now save them as cut files. Uh, so that we can bring them in here, do any tweaking that we may need to do. Okay, guys? If you have any questions, please come and find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys. Um, if you do save yours as an FCM and you want to bypass your cuts a lot altogether, you can save it right onto your stick and take it immediately to your Scan and Cut. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.